All right, so this time it's talking about um, ENTs, or also known as the researchers. The researchers are um, well named, actually. Uh, so this would be your your uh, LIEs, ILIs, LII, or ILE, right? The ENTs. Researchers is a good name. I think because it's kind of something you see these people doing. They're they're researching stuff a lot. Okay. They tend to be very well knowledgeable on a wide variety of subjects that they have learned. Stuff that they didn't necessarily participate in, but they've read about it. They studied it. Okay. As an example, somebody who maybe studied about World War II and they can tell you about a variety of battles and the technology being used and historical context, what's going on, all this other stuff, right? They obviously weren't there, they didn't participate, but they're very knowledgeable on it because they researched it. They did the reading, they saw videos, they did whatever to smarten up on this subject. Same can be said about any other subject. They studied up on quantum mechanics, they studied up on particle physics, they whatever, right? And they're knowledgeable about these things. It's a type that you, or a group I should say, that you see them doing a lot of research behind a lot of things. They watch the TV show and it's not enough just to watch the show and move on. They watch the show and they want to read about the fiction behind it. They want to explore it more. If it's Game of Thrones, they want to understand more about the characters. They want to read more into the map and the world that's been created in there. They want to kind of know where things are, right? A desire to know more, knowledge. Um You'll notice as well as this is a type that, or I'm sorry, I keep saying type. So this is a group club that really enjoys that, that knowledge, knowing, research type of style. And they tend to like their conversations to go towards that, okay? Go in depth on topics and things, especially topics they're interested in. They're always trying to pull conversations in that direction, right? This is in stark contrast to maybe the socialites who maybe just kind of want to talk about what's going on each day, what are the day-to-day -day tasks need to get done, who's doing what, who in the family is this and that. Your researchers are very may have no interest in those things and will either do nothing, just not really talk much, or try to pull the conversation into something more of a nerdy, abstract thing, right? It's not about what we're doing or who's doing what today. It's really about some, some concept or idea that I wanna talk about in depth. Um, this is the reason why you see a lot of this type, or again, I said type, did it again. You see this club in something like socionics. You see a lot of them. Because to understand socionics, you have to do a lot of research. You gotta really read um, a lot of the, the uh, the literature on it, you got to understand all the different groupings, the functions, the, you know, the dichotomies, you got to get into all that. And they're often deeply researching all that information. By contrast, you notice a lot of the socialite group, the SFs, are on the opposite side of this coin. They don't like to do a lot of this research. They don't want to dive into these more intellectual stuff. Not unless they have to, unless there's a, there's a uh, a reason that they need to do it for their job or for something that's kind of pulling them into it. But otherwise, on the whole, socialites don't want to do this kind of, of analytical researching of concepts and topics that don't seem to have any direct benefit on their day-to-day -day activities, okay? Very noticeable difference there. Um, you can envision groups like I, I can't help but think of like Stranger Things when you had the, you know, the, the group of boys kind of like nerds sitting around playing Dungeons and Dragons, doing all these other things. Uh, you know, it's a little it's like a little club that loves to share these common ideas, concepts. Sometimes it's very science oriented. Sometimes it's more about fiction or science, fi science fiction. Um, other ideas like that they that they can share amongst each other because they're kind of equals right all the the uh, logical intuitives are all similar in this way and they share interest in these kinds of topics 
but there is a difference. There's a breakdown. So you will get your ILEs and your LIIs, which are part of Alpha Quadra. These are your NTPs. So these guys typically have more of that classic nerdy approach. And I'm going to, you know, sorry, I'm going to say it like that. Just because they tend to be even more theoretical. They really like theory more. They really like diving into digging deep into a concept, a topic of some sort, looking for every possible bit of information, every idea, every thought, every how could it work? How could it apply? What could we do with it? Where could it possibly go? And they really dive into the theory to the point where it looks like it's no, it's really of no use to anybody. You are so deep in theory land that it's just like, how is this helpful to anyone? What can we do with it? Even if you did find something like, then what? Right? Your <clears throat> LIEs and your ILIs, Gamma Quadra, tend to be more pragmatic in their approach to these kind of theories. So they're sort of looking for how can we apply the theory? How could we use it in some way to achieve some kind of a goal now, or at least in the, in the near future? Um, so you kind of get the sense that the, the Alpha Quadra style NTs are much more speculative and curious to explore and speculate just for its own sake. It doesn't have to have any clear application or use to it. Whereas the Gamma Quadra style NTs are really looking for its application, its use, and are looking for a more definitive uh, declaration of what's going to happen. Okay, based on the knowledge, based on what we have discovered in research, this is what's going to happen. This is where it's going to go, or this is what has happened already. It's a bit more decisive, more declarative, this is what it is kind of approach. Whereas alpha is more playfully exploring. Okay, You get that sort of feeling between them. But ultimately, they're all NTs, they're all researchers, so they all can enjoy sort of discussing more abstract, uh, very intellectual, very nerdy-like concepts, very removed from the day-to-day -day here and now, personal things going on and much more interested to discuss some idea or concept that they're really enjoying. So we already mentioned they're going to be seen quite differently from the socialites. The socialites, of course, be more interested in people and what's going on in, in the world today, now, very pragmatic. They're not as interested in researching, diving deep into concepts, especially if that concept is of no practical use. So they can kind of look at uh, the researchers, the NTs, as, um, you know, these kind of like individuals that are sort of lost, poor, little nerdy souls. They may like that sometimes. They may not. It may help to complement the socialites because the, the NTs can bring all these ideas and concepts and help explain those concepts to the socialites, like give them a quick summary of what the concept is about and why it matters or whatever and just kind of quickly educate the socialite on these ideas meanwhile the socialite can help the nts integrate with people better you know stay practical remember what's going on in the world learn how to socialize better that sort of thing uh, when it comes to the sts they're much more pragmatic they're down day-to-day -day kind of stuff what's important now what's useful to me now uh, what has application in my day-to-day -day job? Theory and speculation, um, worrying too far ahead about what might happen months down the road, or um, speculating about possible upcoming technology or things like that. It's usually not something STs really care that much for because they're just far more grounded in what's going on today. What am I doing that's going to help me in my day-to-day -to -day, today, tomorrow, and next week? They're not as interested in the speculating like NTs are. Um, but they can kind of like get involved in certain specific topics that maybe the STs like. They'll, they'll kind of entertain some NTs on that. Um, the humanitarians, the NFs. So the NFs 
are another abstract type that also likes talking about different ideas and concepts. And so they can enjoy this very speculating, theoretical, abstract stuff. Um, and so there's an easier time communicating between the researchers, the NTs, and the humanitarian NFs. But there is that split where NTs will often have this more detached way of talking about things. It's not personal. It's not about the emotion. It's just about, hey, this is what the science tells us. This is what the facts and the data say. This is what has historical precedent on how things have proven to work. Your NFs can be much more idealistic, much more like this is kind of what I would like to see happen, or this is where I would think people should go or what people should become and should be and would like to be. And that NF humanitarian approach is very, it is personal. It is more emotional, more ethics and moral bound. And it is more about an idealized future of what they would like to see happen or what they think should happen, what they think is best for people, almost in a spiritual um, character, proper conduct kind of way. So NFs can talk about things in a um, detached from the facts, detached from data kind of way. They're not as interested in what the science has said. They can sometimes discuss the science and the data on a topic that they really like. If they really like the thing, then they'll, they're like, oh yeah, please tell me more about what, what does the research tell us? What does the science tell us? What's the analysis and the theory tell us? But if they're not as interested in the topic, if it's not something up their wheelhouse, then they're less interested in the data and they're much more interested in their own viewpoints on it and where they personally feel that's the best thing to go. So. Um, personally, I still think NFs and NTs get along very well. They complement each other quite well, uh, in my view. So, yeah, I think it's just the, the abstraction, the ability to sort of engage in intuitive, you know, N type abstract and stuff is very, very helpful to facilitate conversation between the two. So anyway, um, that pretty much is the researchers, the NTs. It's something, again, pay attention to when you're typing, when you're looking at somebody, what do they seem to be very interested in? Where is their passions lie? Are they doing the research? Are they really being very analytical about stuff, really diving deep into these concepts that they really enjoy? Or are they somebody who's doing more of the sensory stuff? They're more interested in day-to-day -day things, more interested in something that they are experiencing now. They want to go do things. And that's what they're interested in, just doing something rather than getting into all the analysis and thinking about all the stuff and how it all works, right? Um, are they more interested in the data, the research, what the science and the history tells us, or are they more interested in their own concepts of humanity and what is right and wrong and where things should go? You know, this, these are very useful methods of determining who's what type it's also helpful and kind of from a social standpoint and understanding where you can talk to people um like which groups of people you're going to get along with and have some ability to really interact and play well this is why this is called clubs the researchers and nts it's like this is like the nerdy club where we can share our interest in certain concepts and ideas right and we're more likely to get along socially in a friend's kind of way, at least because of that, right? Or work well together because of that. Okay, so anyway, that's the NTs uh, pretty much in a nutshell. As always, you can go ahead and look it up, think about it. Um, so like and subscribe, give me some of your comments. Let me know what you think about uh, researchers, NTs, um, how you think you feel about NTs, or if you're an NT, how you feel about some of the other groups, the other clubs, that helps. Um, so yeah, see you on to the next one.